If you are looking for holistic wisdom and a plan to reclaim your fertility to help you create a healthy family for generations to come, you're in the right place. This is Fertile Minds Radio. Happy New Year! Today is January 1st, 2024, and I have to say, this is the most joyous end and start to a new year that I have experienced in a long, long time, and I am feeling so grateful for that. So if you are tuning in in close to real time, I hope that you are feeling the same way on your start to 2024. And if you're not, well... Hopefully today's meditation is going to help change that or shift that for you in some way. I've just finished a three-day masterclass on mapping your fertility journey in 2024, and it was amazing. I had so much fun teaching the things that I use in my own life for feeling balanced, no matter what kind of stressors are coming my way. Day one, we dove into what it feels like in your body to actually set out and then live a life that feels aligned for you and what that means to you, because that's going to be different for each and every one of us. Aligned action is the phrase that I used for all of my 2023, and it took on so much more meaning than I could have ever even imagined, especially in Q4 and how that showed up in my personal life, and how I was so grateful that I had been working with that idea nine months of 2023. And I think that that's really important. I think that it is important to set intentions far more than I think resolutions are helpful. I don't, I don't actually do resolutions in my life anymore, but I do set intentions. In fact, I set intentions every day, as well as for seasons and years. Day two, I shared my process for how I make decisions, big and small, how I look at the privilege to be able to make decisions in my day-to-day life, and what some of our conditioning can be up around why decisions can feel difficult. And that was such a powerful class. And then after after we, after I taught on that for a little bit, we went into this meditation, my favorite visualization for the start of any new year. Um, it's also one that I do that is just amazing when I'm feeling stuck and I really want to connect my, my heart and my higher self. And if you do this meditation with me today, which is what you're going to get a little taste of, you'll understand exactly why and how it's also good for reproduction. So I wanted to give you that little piece. You can still absolutely catch the recordings of that three-day intensive. I'll make sure that the um, page to do so is in the show notes for this. It'll be up until February 1st, but I wanted to give you that visualization to work with today so that no matter where you are in the world, you can start to get unstuck, start to move into 2024 with lots of baby dust and confidence And I also want to mention that there is a link on that page of replays for a special offer for Conscious Conceptions experience. So if you have been on the fence or thinking like, hey, I really want to work with her in 2024, I could use a little boost in my fertility journey, then there is a very, very special price for you until January 7th that you can access on that page only. So I'll make sure that that is in the show notes for you. And until then, I want you to just marinate in this amazing visualization. And hopefully I will see you on the screen or we will connect in real life in 2024 because that is what it is all about. So just start by observing everything around you. Notice with your five senses. Maybe the light is really bright. Maybe there's a certain smell in the air. Maybe somebody cooked something. Maybe there's a taste in your mouth. 
And if you feel comfortable and it's safe to do so for you, just let your top lid gently float closed on your bottom lid. And start to observe your breath as you breathe in, how your body expands. And as you breathe out, how your body gently contracts to let go. Just noticing, just witnessing. And every breath is a reminder of how we give and receive. And just starting to notice that beautiful space between your inhale and your exhale, that just brief moment of stillness. That moment of stillness, that place, that's the real you. You have a body, you have a mind. You are not your body. You are not your mind. You are the stillness. You are the silent witness. That place of utter stillness, that is the place from which all creation came from, is, or will be. The more we give ourselves permission to connect with this beautiful moment of stillness between the breaths, between the thoughts. That's where we nourish our heart's desires. That's where we tap into the answers that are already inside of us. So see if you can lengthen that just a beat in the next few cycles of breath. And I want you to bring that awareness, that witness, that part of your mind that's listening to my voice. I want you to allow it to drop down deep into your heart. Just give yourself permission to arrive in this place and to remember how resourceful you are, especially when you're connected to the stillness. There is an endless well of love, compassion, and deep knowing just waiting to be tapped inside of you. Just notice your heart center Imagining that you can breathe in and out of this place in your body. Noticing how well you give and receive with the world at large. You breathe in the world and you breathe out and it breathes you right back in.
And I want you to imagine your heart center as your favorite place in nature. Maybe it's a wooded area. Maybe it's by a stream or an ocean. Wherever it is, imagine yourself walking through it. Imagine that you can feel the soil on the bottoms of your feet. And as you're walking through this beautiful creation, think of three things, people, or circumstances you are grateful for. Let it come into your heart and fill you up. And I want you to imagine that as you begin to walk down into the deepest parts of your heart, you notice a bridge. And you instinctively know right away that there's a bridge from your heart to your womb. You notice the feeling of love and curiosity as you start to make your way step by step from your heart to your womb. And when you arrive at your womb, can you just take a moment and notice her? Describe her to yourself. What color is she? What does she feel like? Does she make a noise or a sound? Can you instruct your heart, concentrate love, and send it over that bridge into your womb, wrapping around her like the softest, most comforting blanket you own? Noticing that as you do this, the womb becomes strengthened as if she was just healing from the inside out, simply from the presence of your own love. Nourishing any part of her that needs to be nourished. And just taking a second to marvel in your womb's ability to give and receive, to know how to grow and hold on, and how to let go and to cleanse. This wisdom of knowing when to grow and nurture and hold, or when to let go is always available to you simply by tapping into your womb. Ask her if she has any messages for you. It could be about your life in general or any question you're looking for an answer to or about your fertility. Just observe and listen deeply 
for the next few cycles of breath. What does she want to release and let go of in 2024? What does she want to hold on to and nourish? it's comfortable to do so, place your hands over your lower belly, connecting deeper with your womb, sending messages of gratitude to her from your heart and your hands. Thanking her for all that she does or will do on your journey in this life together. Remembering that we all came from a womb. Letting that deep reverence for the beginnings of life and darkness, but safety, well up inside of you. Remembering that the darkness can be safe. It can hold us. It can grow us. Ever so gently, you notice that there's a feeling of curiosity if you look side to side from your womb. You notice these beautiful energetic lines that lead out to the ovaries. Maybe they even sparkle or glisten as you follow that energetic path out to your ovaries. And you notice their incredible power, this feeling of creativity, maybe they're creating right now, or maybe they're just the seed, they're just holding all of that potential, saving it for the perfect time. Notice what other qualities are present in your ovaries and describe them to yourself. What color are they? If they were a flower, which ones would they be? Just notice what their energy is today. Is it bursting forth or is it shoring up? Remembering neither one is right or wrong. They just are.
Whatever the energies of your ovaries are right now, ask them if it's being expressed to its fullest potential that they would like. Ask them about what messages they have for you about what you will create in the coming years. This could be children, ideas, projects, missions. Let it all come to the surface. Let the vibration of creation show you what it wants to be transformed into. Whatever comes up or doesn't come up is just between you and your ovaries and is right and perfect for you in this moment. Imagine that from the ovaries, there are energy lines that go up to the throat and then dive back down into your heart, making a loop from your heart to your womb, to your ovaries, to your throat, and back into your heart. Notice how strong this circuit of creative energy is, letting it gather and flow as you just observe in awe and wonder, collecting love, compassion from the womb and the heart, tapping into the knowing of when to hold or let go, harnessing all of the creative power of the ovaries and then bringing it into the throat so that it can be voiced and birthed into this world so that your heart's desires can live in this plane. Notice the quality of connection and love overflowing from this circuit through you. And as you love yourself in this moment, this precious present moment, I invite you to play with time in your mind's eye. I want you to imagine your life, imagine yourself 10 years from now. Imagine what your life will feel like, look like, who you will be. Notice your physical body and if anything has tightened up. Breathe into that space and release it, remembering how supported you are. Reminding yourself that it is safe to dream forward. It is safe to root into dreaming of the future that is right and perfect for you and no one else. Mm -hmm. 
Notice that your mind may want to know how. Just release that desire. Let it float by like a cloud in the sky, coming back into that circuit of creative energy in your body. Remembering that spirit will find the how when properly activated simply by observing our present moment. Now come backwards to three years from this moment. What is happening in your life three years from today? Who have you become? Connect with this version of you. Feel into her. Resist the urge to think that any version of you is better than who you are in this moment. You are perfectly imperfect in all of your versions. We're just taking a peek, a moment to appreciate this version of you three years from now. Ask her, what wisdom does she have for you? Notice any words, vision, feelings, knowing. Let yourself dance in this space. Or just a beat. Now move backwards to one year from now. One year from today. What needs to happen in the next 12 months, internally or externally, to get you on the path to becoming the three and 10 year version of yourself? Notice anything that comes up with curiosity and love and allow it to settle in your physical being in the here and now. Remembering that you don't have to remember it all. You'll be reminded when you see a similar vision or you feel a certain way, or you hear a sound you just heard, and you'll instantly know you're on the right path. You'll know in that moment what the right decision is, because there's a part of you that has been there. Know that what you are doing now is co-creation with the universe. Letting it know what you are ready for and who you are ready to become. Remembering that every time you come back to the stillness, come back to that place between the breaths, between the thoughts, whether it's a formalized meditation in your day or a moment or an escape from your surroundings, just connecting with that place of stillness. 
That is how we channel grace. That is how we nourish our heart's desires. And it is available to you with each and every breath. Begin to come back into this space and time, wiggling your physical body. If you're ready, opening your eyes or deepening the breath. And as I suggested before, just taking some moments to yourself to integrate all that you uncovered in this deep dive into the place where all of your answers already live. Namaste. Hey, if you enjoy listening to this podcast, Consider this your cordial invitation to become a member of the Conscious Conceptions Experience. It's a course and a group coaching program where we take all of this material and we fine tune it into your unique fertility journey. You get a one-on-one -on -one session with me, an extensive and robust course and guidebook, a community of like-minded women, and the ability to ask any question with our weekly meetings. It's a blend of mindset and strategy like no other. I'll see you on the inside.